stage five, the final stage, you just go all in. You go to American Apparel and you get one of those V-necks where I can see your diaphragm while we're talking. <laughs> you know, the collar of your shirt and your belt were never designed to interact. <laughs> They're supposed to be perfect strangers. If I can tell whether you're an any or an Addy belly button, that's not a t-shirt, that's a vest. So you got a new book. What, what's, uh, can you maybe tell me a little bit about it, a little bit spoiler? Yep. Or... Show that the second book was Quitter, and it's about how do you close the gap between your day job and your dream job, between that thing God's called you to do and where you are right now. How do you kind of close that? And the next book's basically about how do you be awesome? Like there's two paths in life. There's an average path and there's an awesome path. And what happens when you go, okay, I'm not going to just rock average. What are the, and there's, there's a number of different things you pass through on the way to being awesome. And what does that look like? So that's what the book's about. And it's about figuring out how to live with purpose versus find your purpose. We've turned purpose into this mythological creature that once I capture it, the rest of my life will fall into place and we wait on it. And purpose is attracted to motion. And you're not gonna find one purpose for the rest of your 60 years. Yeah. Like it's not the soulmate we go, I just gotta find the perfect one. And I'll find it by sitting home on my couch. Yeah. Like God will just deliver it via like a pizza delivery guy, my purpose. And so it's about getting started. And what does it look like to start a new adventure? We struggle with what I call critics math. And critics math is a really simple formula. Here's the formula. One insult plus 1,000 compliments equals one insult. We have the ability to ignore a thousand good things and laser in on the one bad. And this is your first Salvation Army event? Or yeah. You been, cool. So what do you think about the... It's been wild. Like, it's just been fun talking to people that are saying, okay, I've, I've been in 10 different countries with the Salvation Army. Like, here's what's going on in New Zealand. Here's what's going on in the Marshall Islands. Here's what our region's all about. So it's been really eye-opening to me. And just everybody I've bumped into has had a lot of joy for what they're getting to do as part of the Salvation Army. And so like from Fulton to Jim, just all these relationships that you get to see. And I think there's this whole adventure people don't know about that's happening right now every day with the Salvation Army. So for me, it was just an honor to get a glimpse of that. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, when's your new book gonna be available uh, and uh, where can we get it? Yeah, no, uh, next ne it'll be available probably next spring. The next thing we're doing is the Quitter Conference. It's a two day event to kind of talk about how do you chase a dream? How do you know when it's time to jump? How do you figure out what you're called to do? And that's in September in Nashville. It's our third one. And we're going to have a band named Saren play Friday night. And it's going to be its just this amazing time to come together and kind of crash course your dream. So that's quitterconference.com. And you can find me on Twitter at John Acuff, um, J-O-N-A-C-U-F-F, or uh, johnacuff.com. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Thanks, man. guys. I appreciate that's it. That's great. Thank you. As they told me the theme was bold, and I started to think about what does it mean to be bold, it was easy to pick where I wanted to end up. It's my favorite story in the entire Bible. And I feel like it's incredibly bold. I think it's the most dangerous story in the Bible. It's the story of the prodigal son. Have you heard 19 million sermons on that one? I have. Yeah. I didn't just discover that one. If you haven't, let me summarize it for you. Young son says to his dad, dad, I want all my money, which is like saying, I wish you were, you were dead. He gets his inheritance. He runs off to the Jersey Shore and he fist pumps the night away. <laughs> That's not a direct translation, that's the message. 